transcatheter aortic valve implantation. What is aortic stenosis? Valves in a heart act as one-way doors that allow blood to flow out of the heart and close to prevent blood from flowing back. Aortic valve is the exit door of the left heart that allows blood to flow to the rest of the body. Aortic stenosis is a condition when the aortic valve becomes narrowed, obstructing blood from flowing from the heart to the rest of the body. What are the symptoms? Typical symptoms of severe aortic stenosis include chest pain, shortness of breath, and fainting. One symptoms occur with severe aortic stenosis, there's a 50% chance of dying within the next 2-5 to five years. What are the treatment options? Medical therapy alone for severe, symptomatic aortic stenosis is generally ineffective. The primary treatment will be to replace the aortic valve. This can be done via open heart surgery or through less invasive alternative methods like TAVI. Your doctor will advise you on the best treatment option for your situation. What is TAVI? TAVI is a minimally invasive procedure to help replace the aortic valve. These valves consist of a metal frame with animal tissue valve within. The valve is mounted on a catheter and delivered across the narrowed aortic valve. Your doctor will decide on the most appropriate valve depending on your condition. TAVI is commonly performed through a blood vessel in the groin, but can also be performed through blood vessels in the neck or chest in less common situations. The procedure may be carried out under sedation or under general anesthesia. A wire will be inserted from the blood vessel from the groin, passed across the tight aortic valve into the heart under x-ray guidance. The new valve is then passed over the wire and positioned over the tight aortic valve. The new TAVI valve is then deployed crushing aside the old narrowed aortic valve. This relieves the obstruction and improves blood flow from the heart to the rest of the body. What are the benefits of TAVI? Once TAVI is successfully performed, you should experience improvement in your symptoms and should be able to live longer and better. What are the risks of TAVI? The risk of TAVI vary from patient to patient and the situation in which it is done. In general, the more common complications include pacemaker insertion, bleeding and injury to the blood vessels, less commonly, death, heart attack, stroke, allergy to dye that is used for the procedure, kidney impairment, emergency open surgery, valve infection. In addition, the TAVI valve may need to be replaced when they are worn out. No long-term data on the durability of the TAVI valve is available, but on average, the TAVI valve should last for 7 to 10 years. What happens after TAVI? The duration of this procedure varies depending on the case, but generally takes about 1 to 2 hours. If the procedure is uncomplicated, most patients may be discharged within a few days. A longer duration of stay may be required depending on the patient's condition. On discharge, you should continue to take the medications including the blood thinners given to you by your doctors regularly and come back for the scheduled follow-up appointments. You will also need to take antibiotics before any invasive dental procedures.